Hi again then guys and welcome to the return of a series which we haven't done in quite a while. Once again, the last installment I think was for the Aerial Atom 500 and this one in a very similar vein is one of those hardcore, just bare bones track cars for the street. But it's not a Radical. That's what you could easily mistake it for. This is actually a Catrum. Catrum, of course, known predominantly for making the modern day interpretation of the iconic Lotus 7. That's the bread and butter of the company. They're kind of like Morgan in that way. They haven't really changed that much, but when they do, they're really good at it. When Catrum makes a car that they don't usually like this one, they show a lot of potential, a lot of prowess at what they do. And of course, everything that's carried over from the regular models can for the most part be applied here as well. But unlike the regular Catrum models, this has far more downforce, it's more aerodynamic, it has that more LMP for the street kind of vibe. I personally find it to be very reminiscent of the Audi R8 LMP from the early 2000s, which of course dominated at Le Mans. But unlike something such as an Aerial Atom 500 or even some radical models like the RXC, or even something far more extreme like the Caparo T1, this one, in very Catrum fashion, offers a far more subtle approach. 300 horsepower, less than 550 kilos, six-speed sequential, no doors, two seats, tons of downforce. It's a much more traditional approach in some ways. It just has far more advanced aero design than the Catrum would typically have. And as far as using this car in Drive Club, it was a free DLC vehicle. And since recording this footage, which I did quite a while ago for actually making this kind of showcase slash mini review, I'm not sure if you can actually still access the car in the game now that the servers are down, I believe. But if you can, it's certainly worth checking out because if you just drive it once to see what it's like, it's a completely different Catrum experience. If you are a super fan of Catrum, it's a great car to get stuff like Affinity with them. That's what I used to do. Not for Catrum, but for all the manufacturers that I loved. I would pick a car, set a long race, and have fun with it. So if you are a Catrum fan, it's something completely different to what they would usually do in terms of how it performs. It's raw, it's focused, but it's grounded. It's a lot of fun, tons of grip, and if you haven't checked it out, and if you still can, hop on the game and give it a go. But that's overall for this review. Of course, I'll see you next time, and for now, as always, thanks for watching.